Well, we wanted to get together to write this book because really technology use in the mathematics classroom historically hasn't been done well. No. And what we've seen out there has been quite disappointing. Yeah. And I think um, a lot of pre-service teachers have the idea that technology use in maths is about sitting kids on computers and they do lots and lots of practice stuff and there's so much more that they can do. Mm. And we know that there's so many resources out there, but there's no easy way of accessing all of these resources and recognising which ones are useful and valuable and which ones are better left alone. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. Yeah. Should be. Take, yeah. for example, Hot Maths, yeah. which does come with a, a, the text comes with a login for yeah. that. While it's been around for a number of years and constantly been reviewed and, and worked at, some teachers do struggle with how to actually use that as part of their teaching yeah. learning sequence as well as for children to use it at home. Yeah. Yeah. So the book really does cover the use of hot maths and how to integrate it into the classroom on a daily basis. And, and other resources as well. I mean, there's so many good things out there now that can become really an integral part of your maths program. So you can't really think about teaching maths without them. And yet, you know, a lot of people I think don't recognise that you can do that or should do that or that it's worthwhile. Mm. And some of them too, like have the potential to allow students to access maths a lot earlier and some of the maths Ooh. concepts a lot earlier Ooh. than you can couldn't be done before without the use of technology. Mm. So yeah, again, coming back to what you said about being very limited, we can show that the, there's a variety of applications out there and they're not just apps or they're not just mm. drill and practice activities, they're actually mm. real tools mm. that can help access some yeah. quite challenging mathematics. Yes, yeah, absolutely. One thing that I think readers will find with the book is that we haven't thrown the baby out with the bathwater. No, no. We've still maintained a focus on the concrete materials that do really work well yeah. in the classroom yeah. and looked at how concrete materials, digital forms of technology, um, getting children to move from less formal to more formal language, but use a range of materials and activities and different teaching strategies fits together. Mm. Yeah. And in some cases, it's technology is the is appropriate material to use. In some cases, it may well not be. That's right. Mm. That's right. I think that's the thing you've got to do. You recognise is that there's a bit of a balance. Mm. We often hear the complaints: How can we fit this mm. in when we have all these other things yes. to do? Mm. I think what we're really pushing here is that this isn't an add-on. No. This is something that will replace certain strategies won't take more time but may take people to be a little bit more open-minded about how we can use the affordances Absolutely. of the materials mm -hmm. yes yeah. Yeah. yeah and and that sort of point about adding things on like one of the features of the book is that we we look at making curriculum links we make it very much yeah. focused on the mathematics yeah. this is the important mathematical things that the students need to know. Um, this is how it links with the curriculum and this is how technology can help yeah. you achieve those outcomes. Yeah.